Hi, I'm Dr. Tanya coming to you with Tuesday's tips to keep your family healthy and safe. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and the reason why that's important is because we are talking about COVID-19 again, and information is changing day to day and week to week. So I just want you to know what today's date is in case things that I'm teaching you today are not still the same in a week or two. Um, so I've been getting so many questions about the different types of testing for this virus. Um, there are nasal swabs and cheek swabs and antibody tests and lab draws. And what do they all mean? Um, which test is best for you to take when? And what does IgG and IgM mean and all those other things that we're hearing about? So today I'm going to talk to you about testing for COVID-19. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now and also share with friends, family, anyone that has kids or a family and wants to get information every week to keep their family healthy and safe. Okay, so when we get sick with a viral illness, right here you can see in the blue, um, specifically today we're going to be talking about COVID-19, but this would also be similar if we were talking about another viral illness. So usually you get infected with the virus a few days before you actually become symptomatic. And at that point, it's often hard to tell if you have an infection. However, if you do a nasal swab test, which is now usually done at a public health drive through or in some doctor's offices and sent to a lab to run a PCR test, you can actually detect this viral illness in your nose, the virus in your nose, a few days before you even become symptomatic. Public health drive throughs are now also doing cheek swab tests, which is still a good way of determining the virus in your body, but most experts feel that it's not quite as sensitive or as good as the nose because by the time the virus gets from your nose down your oral pharynx, which is in your mouth and mixes with your saliva, you know, it might not be quite as well detected, but I know that here in Los Angeles, we are actually doing a lot of public health cheek swab tests now that are determining and finding disease in people. So if you think you are sick with COVID symptoms, this is what you want to do to actually diagnose that yes, you are sick right now. Over the next few weeks and few months, there will be point of care um, swabs available in your doctor's offices, but right now, most of the time, your doctor needs to do a full nasopharyngeal swab where they stick it up your nose and it feels like it's going into your brain and your eyes even tear and you start sneezing, um, and they send that to a lab, and the turnaround time is a few days to a week, or there's many drive throughs that are offering 24-hour results at their hospital lab or another local lab. So the viral illness is when you get sick, and then a few days after you start getting sick is when your body will start making antibodies. So IgM antibodies, the line here in orange, and sometimes it's a little bit of a higher peak and goes down a little more quickly, IgM are the acute illness antibodies. So these are the antibodies that mean, I am sick right now, my body is infected with a virus. And these antibodies um, can now be picked up sometimes with an in-office point of care antibody finger poke test that some doctors have. Now more are gonna be FDA approved in the near future. There are also tests available now that check for IgM and IgG antibodies that aren't accurate. So make sure you always talk to your doctor about the tests that they're offering and just be really, really careful. Don't, don't buy tests that you see being advertised on the internet because usually those are scams and not reliable. So, a few days after you have IgM antibodies going up, you start making IgG antibodies. And these are usually the protective antibodies or the antibodies that show, hey, I've been infected with this virus or other infection in the past. And sometimes it can take a little longer to start developing IgG antibodies with COVID-19. Um, most experts are saying about a week or two after you get infected, you will start making IgG antibodies. And as you start making IgG antibodies, your IgM antibodies usually go down and will actually eventually disappear um, around a few weeks, maybe sooner and maybe even longer after you have your illness symptoms, such as the cough and the fever and the aches and pains. Whereas IgG antibodies typically are the ones that stick around for a long time. Now with COVID-19, 
We don't know how that long that is that they stick around. We also don't know if that means they're protective antibodies or if that means they're just antibodies that maybe show that you have the infection but they're not very protective. And these are things that we, will, we are studying now based on the proteins on those IgG antibodies. We can actually determine if these are protective antibodies or not. So the antibody finger poke tests often will show you IgM and IgG. So you might see somebody a few weeks after they've been sick that has weak IgM and strong IgG on their test. Um, or you might see somebody early on that even has both IgM and IgG. Now, there's also serology tests available, which is really the gold standard for finding out, do you have IgG? And in the future even, does that IgG mean are we potentially protected against COVID or not and for how long? We don't know that yet. And that's when you go to the lab, like Quest or LabCorp or other labs, and you get a blood draw test or your doctor draws blood from your arm and sends it to the test, to sends it to the lab. And these are actually gonna be full antibody titers, which usually will have a number associated with them. And right now we don't know what that number means, but hopefully in the future we will know, hey, this level means you're protected, this level means you're not. Um, and so those are the IgG labs that you're gonna be getting um, from, from send out labs in the near future, or your doctor will send you to, let's say, a Quest lab to get that drawn. And this is really the most accurate for knowing, hey, when I was sick two months ago, did I really have COVID or not? Um, but if you are currently sick or you think you're sick, going to the lab, getting your finger poked is not going to tell you, yes, I have the illness right now. But as the days go on after you've been sick and you're recovered, even a couple weeks later, that's when you can find out, hey, I have IgG to COVID, I was sick. And then maybe you can donate your plasma. So let's talk about convalescent plasma. So convalescent means you're no longer sick and you're recovered from an illness. I know it's a weird term. So donating convalescent plasma means you are donating your plasma, your blood, that has IgG antibodies in it that show that you have been exposed to COVID-19 and you have had the illness or maybe had an asymptomatic illness where you didn't actually get sick. So right now to qualify to get your blood drawn to help other people, you need to have a positive COVID-19 test from a public health lab or um, a clinical lab where your doctor mailed the swab in. And you have to have a negative test that shows you've recovered from the illness. But now they're also saying that if you have a true laboratory blood draw that shows you have positive IgG, you also can be a convalescent plasma donor. And that is going to be something so important that we are encouraging everybody who has recovered from COVID-19 to do. Because this is being studied right now as a way to treat people who are infected with COVID-19 and really help those that are seriously sick in the hospital, maybe get some of your antibodies to help them fight their own illness so that way they can actually recover and not go on to get more and more sick and even die. So I'm asking all of you now, if you are recovered COVID-19 survivors, please ask your doctor if you are a candidate for donating convalescent plasma and helping somebody else. We are also still doing research on all of these tests and more and more point of care tests are being, are being evaluated and approved every day. So hopefully over the next few months and in the fall when we're ready to hopefully send kids back to school, we'll have more opportunities to test everybody both in their own doctor's office and in the community. If you have any questions about antibody testing, viral testing, convalescent plasma donation, please ask me to leave your questions here. You can also follow me and ask me questions on social media at Dr. Tanya Altman. And if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover on other Tuesday tips, please let me know. And in the meantime, please stay home with your family and stay healthy and safe.